Hey guys, thank you for joining me for this video. As you can see from the title, we'll talk about the apps that'll make reading in English almost a walk in the park for you. And let me just say this right off the bat, this video is not sponsored by any of the apps on my list. These are just my recommendations. However, we do have a sponsor today and it's Elsa Speak and we'll talk about it a little later in the video. Many of you know that I personally love to read and I'm sure that all of you know about the benefits of reading. And it is a very important skill to have to be able to read in English, especially for the ones who want to study abroad and are getting ready to take the IELTS exam. However, reading also poses a problem for a lot of English language learners for numerous reasons. Whether it's a lack of vocabulary or concentration issues, in addition, some people just don't like to read, it makes them sleepy. Plus, in some regions and countries, it is very difficult or even completely impossible to find books in English. That's why ebooks are a perfect solution. So that is why I did my research and found some great apps for you to try out and make this process easier more effective and even enjoyable. If you're interested, I also have a video with my reading tips and another one on how to stay focused while reading. You can click the pop-up links in the right upper corner of the screen and you'll also find the links in the description box. Also, if you have any other recommendations or apps that you like, please share them with us in the comments and don't forget to hit the like button. I'll start with the one I've been using for two years now and I love it. It's Kindle. A lot of you guys know about it, it's an obvious choice, but let me tell you why I personally love it. First of all, because it is super simple to use it, it makes reading possible anywhere, and it makes it easy. You buy books on Amazon, download them, and they are yours to read whenever you want. I use the free version of Kindle. I did not use Kindle Unlimited because, as I heard, it is not that unlimited, and honestly, the free version is more than enough for me. However, I should say that it will be a great fit for people who like traditional reading. You can tap on any word and read its meaning and translation if you don't know it, and also listen to the pronunciation of that word. Mush. And this is very convenient for me. You can also download an audio companion for your books on Audible and listen to the book. You can follow the text with your eyes while it's being read to you. And this is especially useful for English language learners in one specific way, which is hearing the correct pronunciation of words. We all know pronunciation is such a pain in the ass. Sometimes it is just impossible to guess the pronunciation of a word when you see it's being written. And sometimes you read a word and you read it incorrectly and you have no idea what it means. But when you hear it, you're like, oh, that's what it is. I know this word because you have heard it, but you haven't read it before. So as I already said, there's also the unlimited version of Kindle that lets you read and listen to an unlimited amount of books a month from a set selection of books. So the book that you wanna listen to might not be there and you're gonna have to pay for it on top of your subscription. So before subscribing, check if there's books that you'd like to read. Now let's move on to Audible. It's an audiobook streaming service. On Audible, you can buy and listen to audiobooks and podcasts. And this is basically what it is. You listen to books. You don't actually buy written versions of books. It's just an audio, which is a bummer for me. But you can pair your audiobooks on Audible with your Kindle purchases. So, in addition to hearing the correct pronunciation, you'll also be able to use all the Kindle perks like translation and reading words definitions. And this is what I find to be a very effective and fairly easy way to learn to read in English or improve your reading capability. Again, because it'll allow you to hear and learn the correct pronunciation of words and because this way makes your reading experience so much more enjoyable. They offer lots of membership options and with a monthly subscription, you get one book and they give you one credit which you can use towards another book. And Audible seems to have the best selection of books. And when you sign up, they give you a 30-day free trial of a standard or 
premium membership. Another convenient feature is that you can buy books on the app, which is something you can't do on Kindle. You have to buy them off of Amazon. Now, before we go any further, I'd like to introduce you to the sponsor of today's video, which is Elsa Speak. I think we all know by now that I love this app, but also my four-year-old son really enjoys using it. So it's a great app to help not only you, but also your kids to start speaking English and working on your pronunciation. It'll help you improve your pronunciation, intonation, and fluency by using innovative artificial intelligence technology that recognizes your voice and pinpoints your pronunciation errors. The app has 40 plus real life topics and 1,600 plus lessons that range from business topics like everyday office conversations, job interviews, business travel, sales meetings, to casual everyday topics like movies, food and drink, education, and entertainment. It also has an amazing dictionary that shows you how to pronounce any words or phrases and community feature that allows you to add your friends and colleagues and compete with a leaderboard, as well as ask for help by posting a word you're struggling with and having friends help you correct it. So just go ahead and download it right now for free and get seven days of pro membership for free. The link is in the description. Now I'll give you a little demo. There's lots of options you can choose from to work on your pronunciation, like particular sounds, linking sounds, dialogues, and so on. And you can also practice a specific word that perhaps gives you trouble. So let's practice this word because it is a difficult word to pronounce. Entrepreneur. So let's listen to it again. Entrepreneur. And let's try to say it. Entrepreneur. Okay, not bad, but there's still some sounds that I need to work on. And you can also track your progress on the app. And of course, I have an exclusive discount for you guys to get 85% off of Elsa lifetime membership. So by using my link, you will save $400 and you will get a lifetime membership. And also you can get 40% off of their one year membership. The link is in the description and in the pinned comment. So let's get back to the video. And another great option is Google Play Books. There's no subscription fee for Google Play Books. You just buy the book you want to read on the website for iPhone and on the app for Android. And what I like about it is that it's two in one. You can buy audiobooks and ebooks in one app. It's very simple to use. Here, you also can click on any word and see its translation or its definition by choosing the dictionary. The one downside for me is that you can't play an audiobook and read an ebook at the same time. When I try to do this, the audio just stops playing. The next one I'd like to suggest to you is Speechify. It's a very cool app actually. It is a text to speech app which means that it reads to you out loud any text you need. It transforms a wide range of text files into audio, which I find to be awesome because you know, sometimes you just don't have the time to read and it's just saving for auditory learners meaning people who learn through listening. It lets you highlight the text as it reads along, which is another cool feature. I have a free dictionary downloaded on my phone, so when I click on any word, I can read its definition. On Apple devices, it's also possible to turn on the translation feature. And it's available in both free and premium versions. But there's a catch. The free voice they are offering is not that great, and you have to pay for all the rest. And I said, how I wish we had something to do. Too wet to go out and too cold to play ball. You can try out the premium version for free for three days and then you will be charged. If you don't want to be charged, make sure not to click start my free trial button. Just click the X in the top left corner. And there's going to be another box offering you free gifts and start trial. Just close it. But the subscription box pops up pretty frequently, so be careful not to click it. So as you can see, you can scan a text and then add it and then it'll tell you when it's ready to listen. 
You can also add books from your Kindle library, but it takes a long time to scan them. Overall, the free version is great and useful, but the premium is better, of course, if you can afford it. Originally, it was created for people who have trouble reading, like people with dyslexia or eyesight problems, but I think it can be very useful for people who learn foreign languages as well. The next one is Natural Reader, and it's very similar to Speechify. It has almost all the same features that Speechify has. You can use it for free, and a free version comes with five, or more like three free voices, because two of them sound identical. Hi. I can read web pages or documents for you. Hi, I can read web pages or documents for you. As far as dictionary and translation go, it's the same as with Speechify. You can use your phone's dictionary and translator. You can also buy personal, professional, and unlimited use with a one-time payment and different features included accordingly for Mac and Windows. Plus, they also offer monthly and yearly subscriptions. And there's more apps like these two that I just mentioned, like Voice Dream that has very nice reviews. There's also Browse Aloud by Microsoft, whose description is short and clear. If you have difficulty browsing the internet due to poor eyesight, then this app can let you hear the text on screen. By clicking on any text, your computer will read it out loud to you. There's also Apple Books, which is a pretty good app, but it's only available on Apple devices. They work very similarly to each other and they have lots of other different features. I just mentioned the ones that are important for language learners, in my opinion. Honestly, you just need to try them out and choose the one that you like because they have different interfaces and although their offered features are similar, they might work differently. The paid versions are always better, but if you can't or don't wanna pay, just use the free versions. Okay, I hope the information in this video was useful for you. If that was the case, don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, subscribe, of course, if you aren't yet, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.